Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button um, if you are enjoying what you see. And so today I'm going to be talking about visualizing your higher self. So in not my last video, but the video before that, I talked about being the main character, right? And so a lot of people they're hearing this term but they really don't know like okay what are the steps to get there what is being a main character what is my higher self what does that person even look like who is that person like they're like okay help me out like so if you're not already in this kind of journey on your own and you're figuring out okay i want these things but i just don't know how to go about it i think this video will kind of like help before you watch the main character video if that makes sense so i was just thinking about what my higher self looks like and visualization is a part of manifestation so if you don't know what manifestation is, that is when you basically bring something to life, bring something to fruition. And um, visual visualization, that is a tongue twister. I'm going to make sure I don't mess that word up. But visualization um, is a part of that. So when you manifest something, you envision it first in your mind. You visualize it. Then you maybe you write it down or you have... Um, like picture versions like vision boards things like that then you call to action you put in the work you put in the action right so that's like the steps of it and i wanted to give you guys just a few tips on how to visualize and manifest your higher self so if that's something you are interested in then definitely keep watching so the first thing in visualization and visualizing your higher self is visualizing your daily habits what does your higher self do every day? What kind of routine do they have? How do they live their day-to-day -day lives? And I think this is important because when you are striving to be your higher self or something greater, um, you really want to have a focus point on what your life is going to look like, what your day-to-day -day is going to look like, what habits that you have. And so in that being said, for me, I know my physical appearance has been something that I have been slacking on a lot is my body is not where I visualize it to be, but I am not doing those habits daily to get me there. So right now I need to start visualizing, okay, when I already have that body, when the work is done, what habits was I doing every single day to get me there? And those that can be for any specific habit or any day-to-day -day that you want to get, whether that's um, meditating more, whether that's journaling more, whether that's doing more personal development, whether that's um, being better with cooking, whether that's being more active, anything that you feel like your higher self does on a day-to-day -day basis without thinking twice, you need to start visualizing yourself now doing those things. So I think that is probably the most crucial part out of all of these things because when you are visualizing your day-to-day -day routine, routines they are solid so once you form a routine that becomes a habit and then once it's a habit it's just kind of like set from there and it's not a question it's not like you're robotic but you're just so disciplined um with your end goal that you will continue to keep up these habits daily so definitely visualizing your day-to-day -day daily habits number one Number two, you need to visualize your higher self's workflow. What do you do for work? Um, of course, we all we need to work to survive, to make money. But in turn, just working to survive is something that I do not agree with. I think that we all should be able to find 
joy and happiness and then in those things that we are doing that bring us joy and happiness also bring us an income so they are not separate in my mind um work should not be like a task or daunting just because of the income factor and something that you do for fun and you enjoy doesn't mean that it, it shouldn't bring you money or that it can't bring you money i think both of those things are one they're a sandwich it's like peanut butter and jelly you know i mean essentially you can have one without the other but why would you want to like why would you only want to do something that brings you money but no happiness and no joy and why would you only want to do something that brings you happiness and no joy and I mean joy and doesn't really bring you an income it, it I think society gives us this narrative that our dreams and our um, aspirations and those fun things we like they aren't going to bring us the revenue as a normal standard go in job, you know, so they make us feel like we have to do both and that they can't be one. So when you are visualizing your higher self, if that is something that you feel like you want to break the stigma and visualize that career that that brings you so much joy and happiness, but it also brings you an income. So that way you don't have to slave away at both trying to make them both work. Um, me, when I am visualizing my higher self, I am already now doing those things where Yes, I am not financially where I want to be, but I'm already putting in the work to do those things so that it becomes a permanent lifestyle when it comes to my work. So I am traveling more now, working remotely, doing my YouTube channel. I run two other businesses. So I am visualizing myself at the beach, working, at another country, working, and still enjoying my life at the same time so definitely visualize your workflow and how you want that to look for you so now we're talking about appearance and i put this dead in the middle um because i feel like it's important but i don't feel like it's the most important but it's not the least as well visualize how you are showing up to the world so that's not only just the way you dress but visualize how you show up so that's how you look on a day-to-day -day basis your body your clothes your personality your aura um just every way physically that you present to the world envision yourself as that person and then start putting in the work um if there's certain ways that maybe you haven't been able to experiment with clothing that you've been shy to experiment with different clothing styles start experimenting start dressing different to see what it makes you feel when you look in the mirror when you see yourself in a different type of outfit um i think when we are fearful we become complacent and we become okay with certain things so even if you are not a hundred percent okay with how you appear to the world right now because of fear of trying something new you accept it so if your higher self does not look like how you look right now start to envision what they wear how they wear it how they walk into the room how they show up the confidence that they have the strengths that they know they have all of these things really start to envision it and then slowly incorporate it into those daily routines until you match up with your higher self so next is visualize what is important to your higher self what makes them happy what do they care about what don't they care about what are their morals and values how do they live their life um i think this is really important because it takes out the outside noise when you are envisioning who you are so this is you this is not someone else this is not a fictional character this is someone that will eventually you will be walking in these shoes so it doesn't matter what anybody else cares about what they value what they think is cool what they don't think is cool um that doesn't matter here in this process so this is where a lot of inner work comes in and you really have to dig deep into like what do i really care about what makes me thrive in this lifetime what are things that um 
are non-negotiables? What are red flags? Because I think we give a lot of people room to make those decisions in our lives for us. And we really need to stop doing that. Like, nobody else needs to tell you what is important to you, how something makes you feel, how something doesn't make you feel. Stand firm in your opinion and your facts that you live by. So really start to visualize that. And I think when you do, you'll be able to set boundaries. Um, you'll be able to project a firm not you know rude or anything like that but just a firm backbone in who you are and be able to stand up for yourself in different scenarios and you know in different aspects of life because when there's a lot of gray area and a lot of room to you know I don't know or this or that you can get persuaded so easily to do something that deep down inside you know it's not really you so really visualize what you stand for and how you live your life and the last thing is to start putting in the action so this could be by journaling this could be by vision boards this could be slowly but surely adding in those daily tasks every day this could be going out buying a new lipstick this could be trying a new hairstyle all of these things that you are doing now after you have visualized them and saw it clearly put in the action yes you know manifestation manifestation works but it does not just work out of thin air you do also have to put in the work and i think that's where people kind of get um like misunderstood or misinformed by how all of this works it does not like oh i'm just going to close my eyes and see myself in a bentley and then tomorrow i'm gonna be in a bentley like no it doesn't work like that what did you do to get there after you have visualized it for yourself so definitely put in the work if you really want it if you don't want it that's okay too if you just see yourself the simplest way now I didn't say your richest highest self I just say your highest self so whatever that looks like to you whether that is being on acres of land away from everyone in a small cottage make that happen whether that's traveling the world make that happen whether that's being the CEO of a company make that happen um, your dreams don't have to be anyone else's or as big or as grand as maybe society may want you to feel like. I mean, it could be grand to you to have a small home in a town somewhere close to where good schools are for your kids. That can be your ideal higher self. And so that's why I really wanted to get you guys to break down these stereotypical ways of success because success is personal you know so always keep that in mind everyone has the potential to have their happiest moment and it's personal to them it does not have to be a mainstream personal highest self idea of success um so yeah really really zone in on to who you want to be, how you want that to look like, and start to manifest it. So I hope that this video was helpful. I thought, I hope that it brought you some insight and some inspiration. If it did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And me and my bestie are on our way to Costa Rica for her birthday. So that will be the next video Costa Rica vlog. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.